Hi YouTube, it's Alan Sagano, president of ADS Consulting Group, and today I'm here to talk to you about disaster recovery. Yeah, well, the good news is that the technology has moved along so far that it's actually, it's not as expensive as it used to be. It works much better than it used to. It's also easier to test. Uh, but today I'm here to actually talk to you about what is the ultimate disaster recovery test. So we implemented a disaster recovery plan for a client and, you know, they're like, hey, Alan, after we pay you a ridiculous amount of money, uh, how do we even know the, the thing is going to work? And do we have to wait, you know, till our building burns down to figure out if it worked or not? And I said, okay, that, that's a fair question. It's a very fair question. I said, this is what we're going to do. After we implement the, we design the architecture and implement it, we are going to test the heck out of it. We recommend doing what's called a bubble test where you basically light up the VMs and they kind of, you just, this is basically just testing the replication to make sure that the proper VMs are replicated, B, they're not corrupted and they can talk amongst themselves. That's the first test we do, a bubble, a bubble test. The second test we do is a non-bubble test where we basically shut down all the production machines, bring up the the machines in a the disaster recovery site expose them to the outside world hence non-bubble expose them to the outside world check flows in and out to the internet if they're using bgp make sure the bgp failure is going over and then shut them down and then fail back to production okay that's a non-bubble test the ultimate uh, test that we do is we will actually fail over it's usually on a weekend from the we'll fail over from the um production production site over to the disaster recovery site, run there for a week or so, reverse the replication flow so that the DR site's now replicating back to production. And then the following weekend, we'll shut down the DR site and then fail back to production. And that is the ultimate DR test. And we told our client that's exactly what we're gonna do. And when we can fail over from the production site to the DR site, run there for a bit and then fail back, would you be satisfied that the infrastructure worked? And he's like, well, yeah, because we actually did it. And so, so that's exactly what we do. Uh, until you do that test, we feel that you just don't know. You could still have a lot of unknowns about uh, the infrastructure. And a lot of times this will pick up on those very subtle things. The more important thing also here is you don't want to try to figure this out under duress, right? During an actual disaster when your hair is on fire just a bad idea so that is the ultimate dr test that is a test that we will do for every client that we build out the dr infrastructure for if you like this information please 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 boink hit that subscribe button and we'll keep continuing to make this content thanks a lot for listening and we'll talk to you soon